The mechanics, everybody at Stephen Wade is 100% for the customer. And that's why we're here. We're going to buy our next car from Stephen Wade. We're going to keep coming back. Experience a far better way to purchase your next vehicle at Stephen Wade today. Hello, this is Maury Kessler with St. George News. We are at the Cox Auditorium on the Dixie State College campus where shortly Sorensen Advertising will be making the announcement for the recommendations that they will give to the Board of Regents when they vote upon a new name for Dixie State as it becomes a university. Before we get started, I want to again stress the purpose of tonight's meeting is an informational presentation in which Sorensen Advertising will be announcing its findings and results from the company's three months of research. This meeting will not be a discussion forum and no questions or comments will be taken during the presentation. But keep in mind that we are uh, presenting to you uh, the opinions and thoughts of all of the stakeholders, in other words, all of you uh, in this room. Uh, what are you looking forward to as a result of university status? Okay, and, and the two top answers to that from all stakeholders were number one, they were excited about more academic programs, including graduate programs. I mentioned that a little earlier. Number two, the chance for students to obtain a university degree. Should Dixie be part of the new name? We are reporting that 70% of all surveys said it should not be part of the name. 12.4% said it could be. And 70.5% said it should be. In other words, uh, a total of 82.9% of all stakeholders uh, suggested that Dixie should, in fact, be part of the name. Now, fifteen point seven percent of students that said that Dixie should not be part of the uh, name. Thirteen point four said could be, and seventy one percent said it should be, which means that eighty four point four percent of all students uh, would support Dixie in the name. In other words, support for the term Dixie among alumni was ninety two point two. A substantial, overwhelming support for Dixie. So this is a very important decision, and a lot of thought uh, has been put into this, and this research will help guide that decision. Two, Dixie, we are recommending Dixie is a key part of the name that could and should, in fact, be maintained. Um, it, it was clear to us on multiple uh, levels and various factors that, that Dixie is a critical element for this institution moving forward. Uh, three, it's easier to, uh, this is a rhetorical question, and I want you to think about this question, because this came up in a lot of the, uh, the focus groups. Is it easier to explain nationally why the word Dixie exists in Southern Utah, or to explain to locals why it hasn't been removed? So, Talk about the name recommendations. Again, these are in no particular order. We are uh, uh, recommending Dixie State University as one of the uh, names for consideration. And we have four up here rather than three. Uh, clearly, probably not a surprise to, to all, but going through this process, it was important that we, we made sure that every that we, uh, we, we turned over every single rock and had every opinion heard. Uh, it did open up for a lot of discussion, and a lot of it was, was very healthy, but it was very important that, that we, we had that voice heard. Dixie State University, uh, and then the na national focus, we talked about those three groupings. Uh, University of St. George, uh, if, if there was a choice to have a non-Dixie name, it was clear that that name was by far and away the cream of the crop when it comes to a non-Dixie name. And a balanced focus would be uh, Utah, Dixie University or Utah Dixie State University, although in most of our research we found that a three word acronym would be a lot more effective than perhaps four. However, it probably it needs to be considered. <laughs>